Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're going to be multiplying mixed fractions in a worksheet, and this one is from MathSalamanders.com. There will be a link in the description below if you guys want to check out this awesome website. They have a lot of great materials. But anyway, getting into the mixed fractions, a mixed fractions is just simply a way to write, for example, two and two thirds. Okay, um, that means two full amounts and then two thirds of something else. So best way, pizza. If you've seen me before, I like. Comparing it to pizza, we'd have two whole pizzas, and then we'd have two thirds of another one. So that would be look something like that. Okay, two and two thirds. That's what it looks like. But as we'll learn, mixed fractions, mixed numbers, are not the best way to multiply. They're they're kind of, even though they're easier to understand, they're not really easy to work with. So what we're actually going to do is the process is going to be changing it into an improper fraction. And it says it right in the instructions. I really like this worksheet because it kind of lays it out step by step. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just walk through a couple examples, and then we'll kind of take the training wheels off, and I'll do like number 12 or something like that. So the first one, it starts off, and I'll highlight this in, let's go light green, this neon green. This is the, let's make it a little bit bigger. This is the, um, uh, mixed fraction right there, uh, one and two thirds, and we're multiplying it by a non mixed fraction, okay? And even if you were multiplying it by another mixed fraction, you just want to make sure they're listed as improper fractions, okay? So, what does that mean? That means no whole numbers out in front. You just want them to have a numerator and denominator, that's it. So, how does that happen? Well, in order to get a mixed number, okay, into an improper fraction, what we do is we multiply this bottom denominator by this number out in front, and then we add the numerator, okay? So just as a reminder, just to make it a little bit more simple, we are going to multiply here, okay? So that's multiply, and then we add here. And that number will go right here in the top. So what does that equal? We have three times one plus two, that is five. So five thirds is the same thing as one and two thirds. And just as so you can see visually why that works, okay? So this is two thirds. Okay, these are my thirds here and I have two of them shaded in. Okay, how many total thirds would that be? Well, we would have one, two, three, okay, with my thirds here. And then one, two, that's five thirds, okay? So that's why it works, uh, kind of a, an example of why it works. But that's the process. You multiply the denominator to the, a whole number and then add the numerator. Okay, once we're here, it is super easy process. We just do the top times the top, five times one, bottom times the bottom, and that's six. So that's five over six as our final answer. Okay, so pretty simple there. Let me speed this up. Let's actually jump to number three because it's got a whole number here and it doesn't look like it's multiplying by a fraction, but it is. Okay, so let's change. I'm gonna change to a better color, blue. So I have a mixed number here. I need to make it into an improper fraction. It already tells us that we need to have a five in the denominator. That's good. So I'm going to do five times the three, and then I'm going to add that one because we have like one left over. So three holes is equal to 15 fifths, and we have to still add that one, so that's 16 over five. Now we have to multiply this by four, okay? So what do we do with that? I like to change this into a fraction. That's what I was trying to say. We're going to change it to a fraction. So we have 16 times 4 in the top. And then I have 5 times 1 in the bottom. 5 times 1 in the bottom. Okay? So I don't know why I put 16 times 1. It's 16 times 4. And that is 64. So I'm going to erase this and just write 64 here over 5. Final answer. Okay? So as you can see, it's not that bad. I'm going to just do a couple of examples where we have more blanks than not. Um, and let's do number nine, actually, because, oh, number nine, we're going to do number nine, number 11, and then maybe that's it. Okay. So t uh, nine is already a, a fraction. We don't have to worry about the whole number out in front. This one, the second part does have the mixed number. So we need to make sure we count for that. First thing we're going to do, right, rewrite the fraction, but we need to change this second one. Okay. I'm going to highlight this in green into a improper fraction. So we're going to do the six times the two, and then we're going to add the one on the top. So that six times two is 12 plus one is 13, and we keep it over six. Now, when we multiply, we're going to do 13 times three. That is 39. Uh, should I use the same color? Probably not. I should probably change it to like pink. 
All right, so we have 39 in the top, and that is over 60. Now, sometimes you might need to simplify, and there are rules to simplify before you get to your final answer here. Uh, I'm not talking about it in this video, but just keep that in mind that you may need to simplify when you're done or during the process. And I'll have some other videos on that uh, in the future. Now, the last one, we have two mixed fractions here. Okay, both of these are mixed, and we need to change them so that they're improper. Okay, we just don't want those whole numbers out in front. So we're going to times here. We're going to plus here. Three times one is three plus one is four. Keep that over three. Here, same thing. Times, denominator times the whole number, and then add the numerator. Two times two is four. Plus one is five. Keep that over two. Top times top. Bottom times bunny. <laughs> bottom times bottom. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice kind of gave out. 20 over 6. And again, you can simplify this, and there's a way to simplify that. Just making sure that you divide the top and bottom by the same thing. I've talked about reducing before. Not during the process. I can make a separate video for that. But essentially, you're going to divide by the common factor. So we could rewrite that as 10 over 3. Your math teacher will really like that answer instead. But that's all there is to it. Make sure you convert to an improper fraction first, then multiply top times top or numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And that's it. It's kind of a simple two-step process. And that's all I have for this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you need more help. And also be sure to check out more videos like this right here on West Explains Best.